And Frankie, here's yours. <laughs> well, this is a... Uh... Well, I remember a space arse. I remember yeah. a show. <laughs> this is, uh, I'd say, Bishop and uh, George Saul, and that, I don't know who the other actor was. This is about your 1980. Do you remember that? It was all like that then, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it's the UFOs. They've brought out a government report, or the government reports over the years, the Ministry of Defence has variously compiled since the 1950s, of all the various UFO sightings, and they've all been made public, and none of them are actually that convincing. Absolutely. Over 7,000 reported incidents of That's people seeing. That's quite a seeing. lot, though, isn't it? Yeah. What did fisherman Alfred Burtu claim happened to him unexpectedly in Aldershot? <laughs> <laughs> he woke up in Aberdeen. <laughs> His statement claims whilst fishing, he was approached by two forms in green overalls and wearing helmets. He said he was taken inside their ship on the towpath <laughs> beside the Basingstoke Canal in Aldershot. Now... Here's Alfred's sketch of the spaceship from the National Archives. They've looked at the files and they've seen that the MOD haven't investigated a single one of them. <laughs> the, the special department was set up to investigate this and it came in and they thought, oh, I'll put it in the shredder. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a sort of great British version of the X-Files, you know, yeah. a bit of The music. white bother files. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> music and spooky lightning and just two blokes sitting at a desk saying, I oh, can't be asked. <laughs> One yeah. was a man who admitted to being drunk, <laughs> who said that he saw lights in the sky near Gatwick. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's a clue. All we have to do is check with the pilots. They might have seen something. <laughs> there was a guy in Wales who said mm. he saw a white blob that made no sound. <laughs> which was basically a sheep in the distance. <laughs> yeah. well, it the MOD, there's, there's a good one where they saw these weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. <laughs> this man was on Newsnight. I want you to watch and then tell me why. <laughs> He's a Prince Philip lookalike. <laughs> He's a Morris dancer. He's called Doug Bauer and he was responsible for perpetrating a hoax. Is it crop circles? It is. Ah, him and a friend, Dave, I think, some of the other guy was called. And they admitted back in 1999 um, that they'd done the majority of the crop circles in the summer. And on this particular occasion, an MOD officer was sent to research the phenomenon, mm. and he wrote in the files, to have set the holes in such a precise pattern manually would have required a tape measure or string. <laughs> None of us could offer any reasonable explanation. <laughs> <laughs> So let's, let's take a look at how Doug managed to create them then. Doug Bauer and his mate Dave made the crop circles for a laugh with a plank. <laughs> how <laughs> bored was Doug? <laughs> Talking of UFOs, has anybody yeah. seen what's been flying in the skies over Switzerland this week? It's not that rocket man, is it? It is. Oh, ah, yes. yes. Fantastic. Took him five years to perfect it and here he is, Eve Rossi. Look at that. He hits that mountain. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's test driving it for the new Ryanair cheap flight. <laughs> now, what has Darth Vader been doing in a back garden in Wales? Nothing. He's a fictional character. <laughs> he attacked someone. There was a Jedi wedding. <laughs> I'm a son. And someone dressed as Darth Vader um, objected to it. Some guy who'd had a few dressed in a bin bag purporting to be Darth Vader. <laughs> Interrupted a lightsaber fight, not a wedding, between two members of the Church of the Jedi. <laughs> Get guys! Eh? Darth Vader's here now. Ah, that kind of hurt. <laughs> He's not looking good, is he? <laughs> That's Darth. why he never usually takes a helmet off. <laughs> I love that, those two guys thinking, now that guy's weird. <laughs> I mean, we were just minding our own business, having a lightsaber fight. Uh, Darth Vader's victims called the police and soon enough the force was with them. <laughs> I know, it's not my fault, it's on here. I just... No, we were laughing at the idea of the police turning up. <laughs>
This week, the government released documents about UFO sightings in Britain. In one incident, three police officers saw a flashing light above them with a dome on top. 